Hi, this is Kelly from Cheap Humidors and I'm gonna do an unboxing today for you of the Cult Fuerte. So over here we have an entire line of the Cult, cult cigars, everywhere from the Fuerte, Amatepe, and the Classic, the Classic being the first one released and it was rated a 93 in Cigar Journal. So we decided to dig into these boxes and see what they're all about, so let's take a look. So here we're concentrating on the Fuerte. This is um, the one that I have that's full today. And if you notice on the outside, it's got a beautiful tarnished bronze plaque with um, Colt Fuerte on there with a lot of detailing. It's got these tarnished bronze strappings, metal pieces all around for extra detail. I'll show you the whole side. It's got a front clasp, which is interesting that if you take a side view, you actually could slide a lock through it if you wanted. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Keep it locked up like that. Um, if someone wanted to take it, they would just take the whole box. But still, usually the clasping is so cheaply made that you couldn't actually slide a lock into it if you wanted to. Um, this happens to be a pretty heavy duty piece of metal here. Um, then they have that on all sides for protection. The wood that you see right here is a reclaimed wood. So each box is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I actually have two different boxes of the exact same one and the wood, um, the coloration is a little different and the striations in the wood are a little different. So every box you're gonna get is gonna be a little bit different from the next one. Um, we have the same instance when we order leather products here from the manufacturer when we specify brown. Sometimes it comes in tan and sometimes it comes in a really deep dark brown. So let's open this. I'm just gonna show you quickly the back. It's felt lined. Um, it does have a QC sticker. There's another one that has a uh, made in China sticker. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but usually the boxes are made in China. Um, the packaging they don't actually make um, where they have the tobacco. They make them separately and ship them and put them together. So let's take a look, open this up. So the box has the same plaque and it's um, screwed in here with the four different screws here and has the same plaque that says Fuerte. This one is in bronze um, and it's a, a tarnished bronze like I had mentioned. Um, they're all that but there's in the other cult lines they have um, a black finish and kind of a silver finish and some of the metal plaques are also different colors in those two. I actually think it makes kind of a nice collection if you get one of each. Um, so inside they have piano hinges here in the corners and pretty thick pieces of wood here. So when you pull them out, I can just, spoiler alert here, I, I can dig for all the way to the bottom for you, but there's no surprises, no little extras, no ribbons, no satin, no nothing in between. Um, I can dump them if you wish, but why? So instead, I'm just gonna open up a stick for you and have you check it out. I've looked online, this, this has pretty good reviews. Um, I would love to hear your comments on if you've smoked it, what you thought. Again, this is kind of more of a packaging and unboxing, uh, but heck, why not tell me what the stick actually says to you? So this comes off pretty easily. It's not sealed shut. Some of them are sealed shut, have a sticker shut. It's got the cult band here, um, not so fancy. So it looks like, I'm gonna call it three color. Kind of looks like a black or a sepia. Then it's got um, some red ink for the cult logo and kind of a greenish inside here of the cult logo. And it has some detailing. It definitely has some texture to it. So it has it has been stamped. You can tell them with the texture to it. Um, but the shape, there's no die cut and there's no foiling. It does have a footer. The footer just has the name on it. And I'm not sure if you noticed without me revealing, hey, it's a pigtail which is unique in itself, the fact that it's a pigtail. Um, I always think it's interesting that nothing on the outside of the box actually tells you that it's gonna be a pigtail. So if you bought this sealed, you would have no idea unless you asked your tobaccoist if it, if it was a pigtail. I don't know why you would think to ask that. So it's a good looking stick. Um, it's got very minimal veins. Um, the cap is very neat with the pigtail. It's, um, it's, nicely, it's nicely done and nicely set in there. There's not a lot of bumps. It's, it's not sloppy at all. It's very neat. One of the neater pigtails I think I've seen. This is like a medium to full bodied and it's closer to full, truly. Um, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and Amnitepe Nicaraguan binder and the filler is Nicaraguan as well. 
That's a good stick. I would love some comments. If you have a cigar box that you would like me to unwrap, let me know. I'd be glad to show you what's inside before you have any questions and before you put in a $100 purchase. I know people are curious to know what they're getting on the inside. So thank you very much. This is the unboxing of the Cult Fuerte. And I'm Kelly from Cheap Humidors. Thanks.